via digital manipulation of video, it can make someone do or say something they didn't in real life. This technology is called deep fake. This is a deep fake. While it showed inconsistent results, mostly failing on poorly lit or low-resolution photographs, it can be scarily convincing if you feed it the right photographs. This means some of the people who are most vulnerable to deepfake manipulation now are people who post plenty of high-quality images of themselves online. If that ever happened to you, what's going to happen? I would feel very violated. A lot of people that wouldn't know me would probably believe it. And that's the scary part. I owe it all to Spectre. Spectre showed me that whoever controls the data controls the future. The first thing we do is we search for surrounding media on that video to identify what actually has been said about it. Just search for keywords in that video. You might come across news articles pointing out that that public figure did not say those words. While this deepfake video was released in June 2019, the original video itself came from September 22nd, 2017. And you can see that um, all the elements, the main subject itself is very closely similar, mm -hmm. then you know that there was manipulation of the original video that led to the deepfake video. Dear people of Belgium, this is a huge deal. As you know, I had the balls to withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement. And so should you. We all know that climate change is fake, just like this video. This video was meant to be a parody, obviously fake. And yet it provoked hundreds of comments by angry Belgians directing their fury at Trump. They thought it was real. When people see views that um, are consistent with their pre-existing beliefs about a particular individual or about a particular issue, they tend to fall for what is called confirmation bias. And so they become more predisposed to believing news, even if it is uh, false. So it's very successful social engineering because the video clearly taps into the belief that people have about Donald Trump being a climate change denier and it confirms their uh, existing beliefs. <laughs> 